Voyage, voyage Yes, uh, in Uzbekistan it's quite uh, very hard to find uh, petrol uh, because most of the car works with uh, uh, gas. Yeah, yeah, so very hard. So what I'll do, I, I will carry um, an extra 10 liters of uh, benzene because in a, in a desert um, there is very long, uh, very many kilometers where you cannot find any petrol at all. So uh, I'm not taking any risk. I'm, carrying a little bit so uh, I should be able to do 600 kilometers uh, wi without uh, running out of petrol. Um, get very hot during the day, probably 35 degrees. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, still in the desert in uh, Uzbekistan. So uh, when you stop uh, on the side of the road uh, there is nothing much you know so got some coffee bit of uh, dry bread that's about all they have here there is some other truck drivers here waiting uh, you know having something to eat relaxing you know uh, it's quite warm probably in the 30 degrees more well, probably more 35 degrees uh, but yeah so that's that's about all you uh, you get to eat but uh, hey, it's not and, bad uh, yeah. right now I am in uh, Uzbekistan and uh, in uh, Kiva one of the oldest uh, oldest town well the oldest uh, Fortress, as you can see, the, for, so the for, uh, fortress there, it's very old, and uh, it's one of the oldest one. It's uh, beautiful, and uh, what surprised me the most is that uh, a, a place like that, you know, beautiful, there is no tourist. There is, uh, you know, I, I probably crossed about uh, five or, or six uh, tourists. So there, there is some uh, local local tourists, probably, but. You know, from Uzbekistan, come in and have a look, you know, very colorful people. Um, getting here has been a little bit rough, you know, the road was not the best, especially uh, uh, crossing the border into Uzbekistan. Uh, the road was a bit rough, you know, but uh, no damage, uh, all good, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to have a look up there and uh, maybe I'll show you around, yeah, okay, all right, bye. Uh, if I was to pinpoint the beating heart of, uh, of the Silk Road, I would pin it right here in uh, Samarkand. Um, very beautiful. This mosque behind me uh, are probably the oldest one in uh, Central Asia. Any older one would have been destroyed by uh, G uh, Gigis Khan, you know, the famous uh, Mongol uh, emperor, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, over over the, the year, you know, uh, they, they really have suffered from uh, earthquake, obviously. Uh, but I have to say the Russian did a very good job at, uh, at rebuilding them or restoring them. They, they, they look uh, magnificent. The good news is uh, I uh, finally uh, got uh, my uh, Turkmenistan uh, visa. Uh, very lucky. Oh, there is a wedding. <laughs> there is a wedding just behind me. Uh, I think they all come to have their photo taken here. Uh, <laughs> even though it's Thursday today, but uh, it's wedding day as well. Uh, yeah, Turkmenistan visa. It's been approved. I don't have it in my passport yet. I will get it um, uh, probably in three, uh, three weeks' time. Very happy because Turkmenistan visa is one of the hardest ones to get. Uh, I only got uh, a five-day uh, transit visa. 
Uh, Turkmenistan is a bit like North Korea. It's very close, closed to the rest of the world. So uh, yeah, I've got five days to cross it. Hopefully nothing is going to happen to my bank because if I stay more than five days, I'm in big trouble. So and uh, what they do is they put a, a tracker on your motorcycle when you reach the border. And uh, so they know exactly where you are. And you're not allowed to deviate from uh, the route they, they tell you to take. So uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so like I said, Samarkand, beautiful city. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Okay, so uh, I have just crossed the tunnel of death. Uh, it, I am in uh, Tajikistan. Um, that tunnel is uh, five kilometers long. They, they call it the tunnel of death because um, about a year ago uh, they fixed it. But before that, uh, there were, well, there's, there's still no lights in it, uh, no no lights and uh, no aeration. So. Uh, if you break down in the tunnel, uh, I mean it has happened or a track would break down, the people would die because they, uh, with the, 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 the fume for the, from the tracks and all that. Uh, like I said, now they've, they've fixed it so it's all nicely sealed. So uh, I've just went through, no problem. You, you cannot see anything inside. That's why uh, I did not film because uh, it's so dark, uh, I did not film anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's your motorbike, yeah. Uh, all right, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, it's um, it's beautiful. You can have a look at the the scenery. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think uh, we we are at about uh, three thousand three thousand two hundred meters high. So in the tunnel, um, it was very cold, very cold in the tunnel. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's not so cold now, probably uh, around, uh, let's go down here, uh, yeah, it's probably around uh, 16 degrees, so it's not too cold, yeah. So, I just crossed the border this morning, um, I mean from Uzbekistan, oh, look at the scenery, look, I'm discovering uh, that uh, scenery as you are. But, uh, I haven't been through there yet. Look at that, they're magnificent. Magnificent. I mean, what a view uh, in my office today. <laughs> oh no, there is another tunnel, but I'm pretty sure this one is short. So, okay, uh, we will cross, we will cross together. <laughs> That's this, no, this one is short. The other one, like I said, the other one was uh, five kilometers long. But this one is, should be much shorter, yeah, yeah. That's your car coming in front, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so I was saying, um, I went through the border between Uzbekistan and Tajikistan this morning. No problem. Um, very easy. Uh, I had to pay uh, $10 for uh, no idea what. Look at that. So, see you oh, another tunnel. Well, oh, hang on, there is my mate. There is my mate in front of me. He's a French guy and he's, uh, he's riding an Enfield. The poor guy is having heaps of trouble. Let's see how he is going. <laughs> uh, how are you, Frank? How's everything going? I'm fine, but I have no, no light. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps on having big problems with his uh, Royal Anfield. Just as we were going to enter the tunnel, he discovered the front light was not working. So what he did, uh, he followed me. <laughs> he followed me. Oh, no, how's that? Uh, the other day he had a puncture. There's always something, something going wrong. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difficult day for me today. Uh, the road is pretty bad and uh, 
Well, I've been on the route for about uh, four hours or no more than that. I left at seven, or, you know, about six hours, and I only have done about uh, 120 kilometers. <laughs> it's uh, freezing cold. Uh, keep going a bit more. I think I went, uh, I went over three, I think three and a half thousand meters the pass was. But uh, yeah, I could hear there were storm too. I could hear the thunderstorm. Uh, yeah, it was very, very cold. It's very nice, but uh, yeah, it's tough riding. Uh, on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, you'd think there is not uh, that many roads crossing in uh, Tajikistan, but this morning I made a mistake. I did not check my GPS uh, and I did uh, 30 kilometers in the wrong direction. So 30 kilometers on a road like that, you know, it's about uh, an hour and a half riding. So 30 one way, turn around, so 60 k's. So I lost about three hours. Uh, the road now is not so bad now. It's not so, here it's not so bad. But uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, still in Tajikistan. That's all from me for today. Um, I will uh, talk to you later. Bye for now. Good morning. Uh, the road I am right now is called the Pamir Highway. Uh, that road follows the border of uh, Afghanistan and Tajikistan. Obviously, I am in Tajikistan right now. And the border, to separate them, is a river. I cannot remember the name of that river. But that goes for about uh, three or a few hundred kilometers. I'm not exactly sure how long. But it's all surrounded by mountain. It's absolutely magnificent. Right behind me, you can see an Afghan village. If everything goes according to plan, I'm thinking of crossing into Afghanistan later on, later on next week. Um, that road is good and bad, but uh, mostly bad. <laughs> but uh, it's not so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, you go slowly, you know, but uh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so, Afghanistan, Tajikistan. I'll talk to you later, bye.